Hi, my name's Ed Frawley. Uh, my family and I own Learbird. I wanted to take just a couple of seconds and talk about a little bit about the history on us producing dog training videos. I bought my first video camera back in 1978, a long time ago. The only reason that I bought that video camera was uh, in the 1970s, I started to go to dog training seminars and I decided when I first saw video cameras that that's a slick way to learn. Maybe it's my short term memory, I don't know what. I had it back in 78, I still have it now. But so much stuff comes out of a seminar that you can only walk away with four or five or six different ideas. But by videotaping them, I learned a lot more. I started to, in the early 1980s, have people ask me for copies of my videos. I never got into this with the idea that I had some grand plan that I'm going to uh, start a company that's uh, one of the largest dog training companies in the United States or the world, really. Uh, I kind of grew into it. We started selling the videos in the early 1980s, 1982. What I found was it took some years of a lot of mistakes in producing videos. I would find myself producing a video and then six months or a year later looking at it and thinking, oh geez, that's not so good. And then I have to redo it again. It didn't take me long to learn that it's harder to train people how to train dogs than it is to train the dog. Maybe that means dogs are smarter than people. I don't know. But it takes a long time to learn how to put an outline together and figure out how to break dog training down into little bitty steps to explain things to people. And I think uh, that's what's been my strength over the years. You know, I've been doing this now for over 30 years. And I don't know, but I can take, uh, like next week, we're going to do some filming here to produce four new DVDs on nose work. Um, I have the ability to look at someone when they're training and in my mind break it down and say to myself, hey, I don't understand what he just did. And if I don't understand it and I put it on a video, the people that are watching it aren't going to understand it. So when I film a video, I have to go at it like, this thing needs to make sense to me. Every little bit of it needs to make sense to me. And the next people that it has to make sense to are some of my secretaries that don't know anything about how to train a dog. So if I do a segment in one of our videos and I'm done with it and I'm so proud of it, I'll bring one of the secretaries in and I'll say, watch this. Does it make sense to you? And then I watch them. And if I can see that there's questions in their eyes, I know that I have to go back and do it again. So over the years, uh, I produce videos on things that I find interesting. And we have gone the gamut of puppy training. Uh, I bred German Shepherds and Malinois for over 30 years. We're retired now. Um, but we've done a number of videos on different dog sports like Schutzhund and Mondial Ring and obedience competition. And I've done videos on police service work and sheep herding, on tracking, on search and rescue. All things that I find uh, very interesting. And you can go to our section on our website and you can review all the different categories of our training videos and then we're constantly coming up with new ones. We have our whole next year planned for new videos that are going to come out and we announce them. When we come out with a new video, we announce it in our newsletter. A lot of times we'll tell people what we're working on, like right now we're working on the nose work videos, but we've got others that are planned for next year and I'll keep people informed by what's on what's coming up in our newsletter. So check it out.